Ah, the forgotten Himalayan soil trick that revives dead clay in just weeks, without a single chemical needed. Imagine turning lifeless, dusty ground into fertile, living soil within weeks, without chemical fertilizers. That's exactly what Himalayan farmers have done for centuries. Their secret? A simple but powerful bioactivator made from fermented cow milk, herbs, and natural ash. This isn't folklore. It's microbial science in motion. In this video, we'll reveal the exact ratios, the scientific reason it works, and a step-by-step -step breakdown so you can use it confidently in your own garden. By the end, you'll know exactly how to transform barren soil into thriving farmland using what's already in your backyard. Himalayan farmers developed their method from necessity. Their mountain soils were often rocky, shallow, and nutrient-poor. But they discovered that by fermenting cow milk with natural herbs and wood ash, they could awaken microbial life, balance minerals, and dramatically boost crop growth. At the heart of this trick is lactic acid fermentation. When milk ferments, it produces lactic acid bacteria, microscopic powerhouses that transform organic waste into plant-available nutrients. Lab breaks down hard-to-digest materials in the soil, releases locked minerals, and suppresses harmful microbes. Combined with herbal infusions, rich in natural nitrogen, potassium, and micronutrients, the result is a living tonic for the earth. Ash completes the trio by supplying essential calcium, potassium, and trace minerals, which improve root strength and nutrient transport. In short, fermented milk adds life, herbs add food, and ash adds minerals. Together, they make a balanced natural fertilizer that can wake up even the sleepiest soil. This isn't just an old farmer's tale. Modern soil science backs it up. Fermented cow milk is dense with beneficial bacteria, especially lactobacillus, that rapidly multiply when added to soil. These microbes help decompose organic matter faster, releasing nitrogen phosphorus, and potassium that plants can immediately use. Herbal infusions made from nettle or comfrey introduce amino acids and plant hormones that encourage leaf and root growth. Wood ash, when used in moderation, adds alkalinity and micronutrients, correcting overly acidic soils. What sets this apart from traditional compost tea is its precision. Compost tea is diverse but broad. It rebuilds soil life slowly. The Himalayan trick, however, is targeted. It delivers fast microbial activation and instant nutrient availability, making it ideal for gardens with poor or compacted soil where life needs a jumpstart. To create the core of this soil boost, start with one liter of fresh cow milk. Add 240 milliliters of plain yogurt as your starter culture. It contains live bacteria that speed fermentation. Mix in 50 grams of sugar or molasses to feed the microbes. Stir well, cover the container loosely, and let it sit at room temperature for 24 to 48 hours until it turns sour and slightly separates. This fermented liquid is your concentrate. It's potent. So don't apply it directly to soil or plants yet. You'll need to dilute it before use. For soil drenching or spraying, mix one part of fermented milk, concentrate with nine parts of clean water. That's a 1 to 10 ratio, creating a 10% solution that's powerful enough to activate microbes but gentle enough to protect your crops. For example, if you need 10 liters of working solution, combine 1 liter of fermented milk, concentrate with 9 liters of water, and stir thoroughly. While the milk ferments, you can prepare your nutrient-rich herbal infusion. Gather about 1 kilogram of fresh green material nettles, comfrey, or a mix of both, and place it in a 10-liter container. Fill it with clean water, cover loosely, and let it ferment for 7 to 14 days. Stir once a day to supply oxygen and mix the developing nutrients evenly. When it starts smelling strong and earthy, it's ready. Strain out the plant material and store the liquid. Just like the milk mixture, this herbal infusion must also be diluted before application. Mix one part of the concentrated herb liquid with nine parts water to achieve the same 10% strength. 
For a milder foliar spray, you can dilute further to one part concentrate to 19 parts water, a 1 to 20 ratio to protect tender leaves. Wood ash is the mineral backbone of this Himalayan method. Use only pure plant or wood ash, never coal or charcoal ash. It's loaded with calcium, potassium, and trace minerals, but too much can make the soil overly alkaline. The correct amount is 100 grams of ash per square meter of soil, lightly scattered and mixed into the top few centimeters. For a 10 square meter garden bed, you'll need one kilogram of ash. For a 100 square meter space, use 10 kilograms. For a larger 1,000 square meter garden or small field, apply 100 kilograms evenly across the surface. Always test your soil first. If the pH is already high, above 7.5, skip this step or reduce the dose. Now comes the fun part, bringing everything together. After diluting both the fermented milk and herbal tea separately, combine them in equal parts just before applying. For instance, mix 5 liters of the diluted milk solution with 5 liters of diluted herb infusion. Use this blend as your soil drench or foliar feed. Apply roughly 5 liters of this ready-to-use solution per square meter of soil. For a small 10 square meter garden, you'll need 50 liters of total mixture, 5 liters of concentrate and 45 liters of water. For 100 square meters, prepare 500 liters total. For 1,000 square meters, make 5,000 liters using 500 liters of concentrate and 4,500 liters of water. Pour the mixture evenly around the base of your plants or across the soil surface before planting. It's best applied early in the morning or late afternoon when sunlight is mild. Repeat every two to four weeks during the growing season for the best results. After the first few weeks, you'll notice a visible difference. Plants tend to grow stronger, their leaves a deeper green, and soil structure improves noticeably. If the soil still appears crusted or pale, repeat the process after three weeks. For extremely poor soils, continue for one growing season, then test the soil again. Over time, the lactic microbes and plant nutrients will create a richer, darker, and more resilient soil profile. Compost tea remains a valuable tool for gardeners. It restores microbial balance and adds organic carbon to the soil. However, the Himalayan fermented method is designed for quick activation and recovery. Where compost tea might take months to show effects, the milk-herb-ash combination jumpstarts biological activity within days. Both can coexist beautifully. Use compost tea for long-term soil health and the Himalayan method for immediate fertility and recovery. Always handle fermentation mixtures with care. Use pasteurized milk if you're unsure about the source and store the fermented liquid in a cool, dark place. Avoid applying to leaves on rainy or overly humid days. It can encourage mold. If the smell becomes too strong, that's normal. Apply during cooler hours to avoid attracting insects. Most importantly, don't overuse ash. Once per season is enough unless a soil test shows deficiencies. This forgotten Himalayan trick isn't just ancient wisdom, it's a fusion of biology and balance. It brings microbes back to life, nourishes crops naturally, and restores what chemical fertilizers often strip away. By mastering this method, you're not only reviving your soil, but participating in a centuries-old tradition of sustainable farming. If you found this video from Soil and Crops Central helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it with other growers. Together, we can keep ancient agricultural wisdom alive and keep our soils thriving for generations to come. Soil and Crop Central